Hey everybody, it's Cutter here today. Hope you guys are doing great. So, this is a topic that I hope you guys will feel free to discuss with each other and with me. Uh, and I'll be interested to see how, um, how many responses I get and the type of responses I get on this. So, one of the reasons why I haven't been making videos for the last several weeks is because we have been going through a huge process here um, at the house making lots of home repairs uh, and cleaning the house out and painting. Uh, this has been going on well really for the last month. Um, this house is very very old. This was my grandparents house um, so it is probably 70 years old or better. Um, and dad isn't able really to do much of the repair type work anymore so I've been having to learn how to do um, a lot of home repair type work because uh, admittedly I am not very mechanically inclined when it comes to that type of work. Uh, but it's been a great learning experience for me um, to say the least I've learned quite a bit. Uh, so we've been um, painting, we've been doing repairs, uh, we've had just all kinds of stuff have broken down this year, so um, <clears throat> you guys really wouldn't believe. It's been amazing um, how much stuff uh, has gone wrong and broken down here in the house, so uh, we've had quite a bit of work to do. And part of that process has been to clean out the house. Um, I have uh, been trying to do my part to do prepping for hard times um, and I've been learning those skills over the last couple of years and it was amazing for me to actually realize um, how much stuff we actually had here in the house um, because of that prepping almost to the point to where it had taken over the household. One of the situations that I ran into was um, back in 2008 when we had the stock market crash scare. Um, that was when I first started really paying attention um, to what was going on uh, in the world and uh, you know in the United States. Uh, because before then I had never really been a political person, didn't really keep up with a lot of that kind of stuff. So that was when I woke up um, to a lot of the stuff going on. And during that scare in 2008, um, I went kind of on a panic buy for food. Uh, because at that point everybody was saying, you know, the banks are going to crash, the stock market has crashed, uh, you know, the dollar's going to gonna crash, the world's coming to an end, you know, run for your lives. So uh, being kind of green to all this, I panicked and did a huge food buy at that point. So when we were doing this clean out process, um, one of the things that I had to end up doing was I had to end up getting rid of a lot of food. Um, it's just dad and I here in this house and we don't cook every day. So as a result of that, uh, the food that I had ended up buying when I was prepping, um, a lot of it started to go to waste. Um, and I had food that was expired like, that had expired back in 2008. Um, and I know some things, you know, you can eat past the expiration date. Um, I particularly have kind of a little weird thing about I don't like to eat food that's too far past an expiration date. So uh, between my food stores and my freezer stores, I probably had to end up either throwing out or giving away um, probably in the neighborhood of five to seven hundred dollars worth of food. And that is a huge expense for someone like me who is on a very limited income. Uh, the reason we had to get rid of it was because um, either it had already gone bad and was not consumable uh, or I just needed to get it to someone else so that they could consume it before it did get to that point to where it was, um, you know, 
beyond edible. And uh, that process accompanied with just cleaning out this house has really made me have to start looking at this prepping thing um, possibly in a different light. Um, before we'd started doing this process, uh, I was at the point to where I was feeling like I was suffocating in this house because we had so much stuff, just stuff everywhere. And it was like the stuff was consuming our lives. I was having to, to work around it. I was having to move around it. I was stumbling over it. I was having to dust around it. I was having to reorganize all the time to make more room for more stuff. And I don't know. I just, now that I've gotten the house um, part of the way cleaned out, I've still got a long way to go, uh, but I've gotten the house partly cleaned out. Honestly, I feel better. Um, and I don't know, I guess everyone will have their own idea about this, but I, I was getting to the point to where I was feeling like I was becoming a hoarder because of all of the pressure that we hear all the time of saying we have to prep, we have to prep, we have to prep. And it had consumed my life. And it was miserable. I was miserable. Now that I've gotten a lot of stuff cleaned out, um, this place just feels better. Um, I don't know, the atmosphere feels lighter. This is an old house, so all that weight is not pressing down on the wood foundation under this house, um, which is a concern for me because this is an old house. So all those things I have um, going through my mind, and it just makes me kind of wonder, and this is what I want you guys to discuss, is at what point do preppers turn into hoarders? I realize that it's a smart thing uh, to be prepared to have food on hand, to have supplies on hand, and things like that. But when does too much become too much for a family or an individual who is trying to prep? So you guys discuss that, tell me what you think about it, share your thoughts, and let me know if you've ever run into this kind of situation and if you have felt at some point uh, like you were being overrun and consumed by the preps that you have been storing. You guys take care. God bless. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye for now.